Hello, honey. Today is such an exciting day because I'm going to let one of you, my fam, into my home. Well, not actually, because I have to clean up. Looks like a hole here, but virtually. So get ready, because I think one of my fam members are calling right now. Who's gonna do it? Because I don't know how to work the Wi-Fi here. So Hillary, one of my fam members that I met on Instagram, she's actually gonna be dialing in soon. But before she does, I wanna share with you what Wear Be is about. Wear Be is my theory that anything you wear when it comes to color or texture can instantly give you a therapeutic mood boost. For me today, one thing that I think instantly enhances anybody's mood are fluorescents. I got a little mini on today. <laughs> it's so electric. It's something that like is eye catching from afar. And as you can see like out in the world, we use fluorescent colors when we need to like get somebody's attention in traffic. Think about it guys, when you're studying for a test, what do you use to bring out the words that need to be unforgettable to you? A highlighter. I'm your, your human highlighter. Even if you're shy, you can still get away with wearing fluorescent colors. It just depends on what you pair it with. So for me, I have like a fun little band shirt that pulls in the yellows. This is pretty obvious. But you could wear fluorescent colors with neutral tones, like maybe neutral sandals, neutral heels, even like a neutral uh, sweater over it. Every time you pair fluorescent colors with a neutral toned blank, it just shows the confidence that you are playing with color while you're still trying to stay pretty mundane with the rest of your colors. It could be a earring, it could be a headband, it could be a fun skirt, but definitely pull in fluorescent colors if you wanna just give yourself a little, yeah, works for everybody. Wait, 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 check my hair. Do I have chia seeds in my teeth? Okay, hi Hillary. Hi. How are you? Good. It's so cool to actually talk to you here because the last time I saw you was on your sweet Instagram post. I wanted to share with you a very sweet moment in the video where Mama Mai admittedly opened and said that she was confident in uh, her daughter. And I wanted to say from there, I paused it and I s randomly burst it out with tears because I felt that her mom in the video was so genuine. I can't believe that you posted that video for us. Yeah, I actually, um, when I saw the video and I, I had to pause that moment because I was just like, wait, that's something that I shared with my own mom? And I just wow. kind of like, started crying you know you never know how strong moms are yeah. and so that kind of resonated i wanted to share it and you know hopefully someone else would you know relate to it too so yeah yeah i appreciate that so much i saw it like when you panned your camera over to like the freeze frame yeah. and i know that moment that my mom and i had i've never heard you say that you're proud of me and that means a lot sometimes i think it's okay to tell me once in a while Okay, in that case, if you say that, I can tell, yeah, I'm very proud of you. Without you, mama, I don't sit here. That's because of you. That's why, okay, I raise you, I take care of you, you become successful. Now, you pull me over here with you, that I have to say thank you so much. Without you, nobody know who is the mama mine. In Asian culture, first of all, we don't talk about our feelings. Second of all, we don't talk about being proud of one another because there's so much, yeah. you know, pressure to just always be your best, which is part of our love, but not everybody understands that. Right, exactly. Showing it to people, it really makes you appreciate your culture a lot and what you have between you and your mom and, you know, as a mother and daughter duo, so yeah. Well, this is perfect that we're connecting today because I decided to talk to my fam out there specifically about therapy. Sometimes there might be days where you don't feel so energetic or you might not feel as confident. Well, the good news is through fashion and through colors and the right textures, you can channel that mood that you want to have through your clothing. So I'm going to teach you that through your closet, okay? You know I'm a big fan of like bright colors, you know, like neon, yes, yep. graphic prints, things like that. But <laughs> there's a reason why I wear every single color I wear, whether it's on the show or in my everyday life. And I want to teach you that, okay? I love you. Thank you, Mom. Bye. Why you love me when you ask me to do something for you? Can you mm -hmm. hear her, Hillary? She talks all day, all day, friend. It's a lot. Why don't you throw some outfits towards me? Tell me where you wear them or where you want to wear them, and then I'm gonna give you some wearapization. I'm gonna sure. wearapize your clothes. My first choice is this shirt okay. from a long sleeve from a express. And the question I have is- That's a low ass cut neck, girl. Where are you wearing that to? <laughs> Okay. How do I, how, how should I uh, wear this properly without accentuating my girls too much? 
Ah, okay. Well, okay, so that first top. So tell me, where would you wear that to? Because it has to be like the right place for the right outfit too. Yeah, like places like I'm going to dinner, just a regular family dinner. Um, just, you know, something easy, casual, you okay. know. But I just want to be conservative because, you know, I'm going out with my parents, so I don't want to totally. be like, so shall we love? Totally. <laughs> my immediate thought, there's two ways you could go about it. Um, obviously layering it, you've got to layer yeah. something underneath it. Now the easy idea that a lot of women would do is they'd get like a cute bralette. You know, a bralette is like a, um, a top that's shaped like a bra, but it actually has straps that look less like a bra. So it's almost like yeah. a tank top, right? So yeah. you could get a bralette that has cool straps and let it, I would shift it so that the opening, instead of being here, it'll actually kind of drapes over one shoulder. So that way it removes being you know, revealing the, the, the center of your cleavage, but it allows you to have a little bit shoulder, if you yeah. wanted. Otherwise, my favorite thing to do is actually get a razor back turtleneck. So if you get a really thin turtleneck, these are easy to shop on like even Zara or ASOS. Get a thin mm -hmm. turtleneck that comes really narrow here. That way, okay. when you wear the thin turtleneck, that's like a t-shirt material, then you put that top over, you get two little slits of skin here, and then you allow the turtleneck to show and it has a little bit more of a rock and roll edge to it. Oh, okay. Yeah, and gotcha. I would do it with a light color. Don't do it with black because then it looks, it'll just only give one look, which is very punk rock. If you go with like a beige or a tan or maybe even like a heather pink or like a light baby, baby nude pink, that would be yeah. through this soften the look and then wear it with like some, some skinny jeans or like um, yeah. even like a, a white jean and that would be really hot. It's cute, I was just like, girl, you better wear something under that. <laughs> You're like my little sister. I'm like, what are we doing that? <laughs> hood rat, hood rat, hoochie mama. I'm just kidding. That's what I wear. Also, like, you've supported the real. You've been such a great fan for such a long time. Oh my God, I got starstruck and I remembered seeing you and I was like, oh my God, my dream came true. You know, oh. among a lot of people. I was like, oh my God, I seen her on TV and now she's here. I'm like, this is my opportunity to get a perfect selfie, so. I'm all about that too, girl. Every moment needs a selfie. So I'm glad you did that. You're totally my fam. Okay. My question is, I tend to wear my regular, you know, strap bra, but for this, it makes me look heavier than I actually am. Is there any way I can wear this but not look too chunky, you know what I mean, or too top heavy? Okay, so the first thing I want to say, just because in two tops already, I heard a little red flag, which is you're concerned about your bust area. Yeah. Okay. I want you to own who you are, own your truth. You've got a beautiful bust line. God bless you. I was blessed with the chest, like uh, maybe when I was like 24 and I didn't know what to do with it either. And then I just started to just really embrace it. And yes, yeah. there are the right brassiers to carry it so that you look proportioned, but I want you to stop being shy or stop being um, negative about it. It's a beautiful thing and you can shape it in different ways, but change your perspective, okay? Don't be embarrassed about it. You gotta own that, okay? Yeah. And so that means chest up like this, back straight, and make sure that you feel you feel confident about what you've been blessed with, all right? Yeah. Let me see that top again. Um, yeah, so it folds in the front. Yep. And then I like it the stretches, color. so it's really comfortable. But yeah, my concern is, um, and what type of bra should I just like wear underneath it or should sure. I just rock my normal bra that I normally wear, you know? So. Okay, so I would avoid wearing an underwire bra. Here's why, when you wear an underwire, it hoists everything up and gives you much more plumped up cleavage. I would go for more of a t-shirt bra. A t-shirt bra usually comes in the shape of triangles and what that does is it allows your breasts to breathe, it allows it to open up so it doesn't actually look so confined and pushed up. It just kind of lets it like lay naturally. But tighten the straps so that they're lifted. Make sure you get the right uh, chest size, make sure you get properly measured and make sure it's hoisted up so that it's, the, the, you know, usually you have to adjust it past your shoulder line so that it's really, really configured to your, your shoulder, the width of your shoulder. Tell me a little bit about yourself and about your journey. Well, I'm a 22 year old living in uh, California. My story really begins when I was 17 and 
I found out that I had this tumor in my stomach and it, and I had to go through like multiple doctors. I kept saying it was nothing, you know, maybe some allergic reaction to some food I ate, to the weather, to, you know, you know, puberty, hormones, whatever, until one told me that I had cancer. My mom was really persistent with doctor appointments and stuff. And so she was really headstrong and wanted to make sure that um, I get the diagnosis that that I needed, yeah. you know, and being the mother that she is, she was very anxious as to what would happen. So she did her best and lucky enough, we went to City of Hope where they treated me and, you know, four years later, I'm here all better now. So yeah. Wow, that's incredible. So your mom essentially saved your life. Yeah, exactly. So glad. And Hillary, yeah. today, how are you feeling now? Like, how are you health wise, emotionally, physically, everything? Uh well, it's been a roller coaster to say the least okay. because you're in that transitional stage where you want to become your own adult. And since I was 17 and now 22, you know, that stage of where I was supposed to go off to college and, you know, meet friends and go out and party and, you know, the homework and all that stuff is now delayed. So I have that transitional st struggle. But health wise, it's all good, you know. I'm going okay. to the gym at least three to four times a week. Oh. Um, drunk guns. And yes, stuff. go to the gym. Yes, you know, strong and sexy. Um, each day, I, I don't take it so uh, granted because I know that each day it may, you know, God forbid, be your last, and you're just trying to um, push it forward and you sure. know do your best, if, you know, in every moment. Yeah. Well, I can tell you right now, just the way you look, you're glowing. I love that you got your muscles. You feel strong, honey. It's going good for you. <laughs> Show me what else you got. I noticed that you're showing me a lot of neutrals. Um, you're such a bright, colorful person. I want to make sure you've got some color in it. It's very plain, but I love this top that I also I got. love that. That's so Coachella. It is. I rarely wear this, but what couple of like cover tops since I, you know, I might be like in school or something or like a restaurant, what kind of cover top would be best appropriate to match like the sequins and this sort of color, you know? I so. love the reflection on that. And Hillary, the reason why I was really thinking about colorful you is because you've got such a fun personality. I would imagine patterns on you. So that, the fact yeah. that it has sequins and shine and hologram and patterns is great. And then it's yeah. on a neutral tank top so you don't look crazy, right? You don't look like Mama Mai. <laughs> so, which is also a good thing, but let's let's wait till we get to that side of the world, right? Let's enjoy where yeah. we're at right now. I would actually pair that with a denim jacket. I see that with denim, like a light denim. Do you have any jean jackets? Yeah, I do. I actually have one in my closet, yeah. Perfect. I think a denim jacket would go number one with that. I wouldn't wear it with a cardigan or anything because then it would just kind of age the top. It's more young right. and festive. Um, and again, get a great bra so that you feel secure with your straps. And right. then underneath, you could actually do jeans, of course, if you want to do like a Canadian suit, like denim on denim with your jacket. Right. Or I would even wear like some cool shorts or a cool skirt. Do you wear shorts? Do you show your legs ever? Uh, summertime, but yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I would tuck in the, the tank top, get okay. a great skirt. Like it could be either, it could be a, a longer skirt towards your knees if you want, or it could even be a, a longer maxi skirt that's A-line. Do you know what that means? A-line, yeah. so it just gives you this yeah. cool shape of an hourglass right. figure with your top. There, yeah. And then you could also put a great chunky brown belt. So you give cool. it a little bit more of that woodsy vibe. You play off the Aztec pattern that it has and go more yeah. of that Coachella vibe. Girl! Send that top to me, I wanna borrow it. I don't know why I haven't worn this yet, but I don't know. I can tell, it looks like it's just like barely been touched. Yeah. Girl, wear that's... it fast before Mama Mike cuts it into a headband. Oh, probably. She's in this new yeah. thing lately. She's cutting everything into headbands. It's like, it's crazy. I chose these two pieces because I had the question on wearing stripes. Would, would you recommend that someone like with my size and height be wearing stripes or like flannel or is it just make me look shorter and how, sure. how, how do you think it would Great make question, you Hillary. First off, can you hold up that plaid so I can see the shape of it? I saw the shape of the stripes. All the way up so I can see the bottom. All the way up, okay. Here's what I would do. So you're slim and long and tall. What yeah. I don't like about both those shaped tops is they're oversized, which is great. I love the trend oversized, but they bell out. So the, the top is almost like a bell, like a bell bottom top, right? And what yeah. that does is it kind of 
takes away from your great tall slim figure and it just kind of makes you look like you've got a little bit of a Humpty Dumpty shape. Yeah. I would, if you're gonna wear that, that flannel top, I would tuck in the front so that you have a high low look. So tuck oh. in the front into your jeans and let the back tail out so then immediately people can see your long gorgeous stems, your legs. Because I, can, I noticed there's slits on the side of it so it'll allow you to, to, to tuck yeah. in the front. Uh, yeah, the sides of the, the top. Yeah. The, the, the actual center of the top. Oh, it doesn't have slits. Wait, can I see? No, the, 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 not that part, but the, the waist. The yeah, let me see that. So see how it's high-low? Honestly, what I would do is I would cut. Cut right up the sides, so that way you can tuck in half and then let the, the other half tail out. The stripe thing, there's nothing wrong with wearing stripes. I'm, I'm against that rule about being certain sizes and wearing horizontal stripes. It's not about that. Yeah. It's about shape. I don't, okay, hold that uphill. Now see how the way it bells out? See that girl, oh my God. It just, I, I don't like the way, that top should be straight up and down. So then again, you can tuck it in, you can yeah. belt it. So then that way, you know, it, it shows off your shape. The fact of it belling out like that, nobody needs all that extra fabric. Tell me the last person you've known that wants to have extra fabric around this area. Nobody. I personally wouldn't wear that shirt again. So stop finding tops that are bell in that area. Have them straight up and down cut. When you hold it up, it should look like it's straight up and down. Um, it can be tapered like, a, like your waist. But yeah. know this, no, no totally A-line, no. Like I'm into bell-bottom pants, I'm into right. bell sleeves, but you don't want a bell tummy. Does that make sense? That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. yeah. I, I was kind of figuring it out because I was more of the comfort over the style, but as you said, you want the style to meet the comfort too, yep. but you don't want it to look sloppy on your way out the door. You want to look cute and everything, but also have everything be nicely fitted. So it'll be more presentable too, yeah. You're like the greatest Asian student ever. <laughs> no, a I, I could be plus. a little nerdy, but no. Hey, Hillary, own it. That's why they call us Asian, yeah. not Bijan. Ain't nobody right? getting bees up in exactly. there. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, I love it. I would encourage you to incorporate more color into your wardrobe. I've noticed you showed me four neutral colors and then one yeah. cute tank top with color to it, but then you never wore it. Is there a yeah. reason why you shy away from colors? Um, I'm just, I'm not sure which color would be best suited for me. You know, I, I, like you, I like to wear green or like uh, purple and stuff, but yeah. I, don't, I just, I don't, I'm not sure what type would fit my, you know, my, my skin tone, you know, okay. so yeah. Okay, so everything you just said about color matching your skin tone, throw it out the window, okay? This is what I want you to start connecting to. Colors have different moods. Okay, every yeah. color plays a specific role when it comes to influencing your mood. For example, orange is a very citrus, vibrant color. People use it in energy. Orange, you'll notice when you see it in, in, in commercials and things, it's always like, it grabs your attention because it's such a lively color. Maybe like go to the gym and you wanna wear something that's gonna wake you up a little bit. Or if you're going into a morning meeting and you know everybody's gonna be wearing gray and black, then wear some citrus tones. Things like blues and greens, I actually see that really go with your mood because you seem really calm and chill like the ocean. So think about blues, greens, turquoises, jades, any of those colors will give that like that I'm cool I'm Hillary hey nice to meet you I'm 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 chill I heard you say purple purple's a very yeah. regal color purple is very royal when people look at purple they think oh this person is deep with a lot of emotion and um, a lot of leaders like to wear purple because they want to convey that they connect with people red is a power color that's another color if you want to stand out I see you more in the blue and green space and even the purple because I feel like you're not trying to say, hey, I'm here, like I am. You're more like, I'm chill, I'm, I'm, I'm relaxed. I actually have a pair of yes, those. I like purple the too. Like, Wait, <laughs> that's why, <laughs> that's why the purple. Speaking of color, the melted Crayola Hi. box just walked in. Mom, I'm having a conversation with Hillary right now. I know, you're talking about purple. I love purple, that's why I'm jumping. So, Mom, this is Hillary. Hillary, meet Mama Mai. Hi, Hillary, how are you? Mom, I showed you oh, Hillary's how are you? Oh, yeah. So, Mom, I showed you Hillary's video on Instagram. Do you uh -huh. remember how cute she was? Yes. Look at her in person now with us. Look, she looks a happy nice person. Hillary, hold up some of those outfits just to show Mama Mai what first four outfits you showed me. Oh this is God. Hillary's closet, Mom. What do you think? She said it was going to be nice. like a That's a nice one. I like yeah. that. I like the color. And it's like a simple, casual vinyl shirt. I like that one, too. Okay. And then I have one like, oh, sorry, um, like Just a halter top. Yeah. And then the one that was really low cut was this 
V-neck one here, so. So I was telling Hillary, I mean, mom, what do you notice so far just from the four tops that she showed us? What do you notice? How could I look beautiful, but look sad. <laughs> Look sad. Look, 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 look. Um, no, stand uh, out. Like me. Yeah. I like stand out like this. That's gonna look beautiful, but look too casual. Yes. Yeah, so I think maybe. Sad. So what do you what are you suggesting? I suggest you wear something you know a little bit uh, bright color. Yeah, Hillary, you've got this smile that's like lighting up the entire screen right now. You're so fun. You've got so much life to you, and obviously, you're a survivor. There's so much to celebrate. Start wearing a little bit of color because what you'll notice is it'll enhance your mood, and I also think it'll help get you out of that that insecure state too. Because I know that you know there's different parts that we just talked about that you're concerned yeah. about. If you wear the right color, though, it'll make you feel more celebratory about yourself. Right. Mama Mai actually taught me what it means to wear color. When people see Mama Mai, they immediately respond in an uplifted way, which then also bounces off of her and makes her feel happy that she made somebody happy through her outfit when it really just made her happy herself. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes a lot of sense, yeah. So I encourage you, I like what you have already, but I would say uh, some more color because it does feel more a little color. dry. She, she, she wear that color, it's okay, but once for a while, but if you wear every day, you look like you just came back from the funeral. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah, you look dead, dead. You look like a dead yeah. person. Yes, and by yeah. the way, you can get creative too with dressing yeah. in different ways. Like I have a vintage tee that's, you know, a, a favorite band. This thing on Mama Mai's head was upcycled from... What, Mom, what is that? What is that you're wearing on your head? Is that a scarf? That's a scarf, right now. <laughs> Why is it right now? What was it before? Before like a little kid, a uh, little kid dress. And then oh, the, on the top, you know, they, uh, they mess it up, so... The mom throw it away, say, don't throw it away, give it to me. I'll do something else. So I cut the top, I throw it away, I take that, become a scarf. Oh my goodness. You know yeah. what, Hillary? Oh my God, I have an idea for you too. Makeup is the easiest way to incorporate small colors into your wardrobe. Yeah. And I know you have some eyeliner on right now, right? No, I don't, I actually. She I had nothing. Just, Are those I just mean, her eyelashes? They're all natural, yeah. Natural, she have a lot. Oh, how nice it is to have natural eyeliner. She have a lot. Oh my God, you look gorgeous. I'm gonna send you some of my favorite color liners. My friends sure. at Too Faced actually make these new eyeliner markers. Yeah. They're amazing. Yeah. So you can just put a little bit of color and that way you don't have to invest it into clothing yet. But even yeah. in that boring gray top that you have, a blue liner would be really cool to add that in so that you have a little bit more of that festivity. No, but she can oh. highlight her hair too. <laughs> yeah. Hi highlight the few, you know. The She's boy. still living with her parents, mom. Let's take it down Are you like with your mom? Let me talk uh, to your mom. Let me talk to your mom. Where's your mom? Go get your mom. Go get your mom right now. She's so cute. Be really careful in criticizing other people's parenting skills, mom. Hi, mom. Mama hi. Kwan. Mama Kwan. Hi, mama. Mama Kwan. Mama Kwan, hi. Oh my God. Dude, your mom beautiful, my God. What's a modern daughter short hair? What is this fountain beautiful. youth you guys are drinking from? Mom, you look so young. You look beautiful. Yes, yeah, she look young, beautiful. I need makeup. <laughs> no, you don't need makeup. You look gorgeous. Oh my God, you guys, you're beautiful. She's beautiful. Mama she Kwan, it's so nice to meet you. You did such a great job in raising your daughter. She's so smart and fun, and she just has such a beautiful, like, energy to her. I know, but you know, she's been working so hard for the struggle for ABC. Now she's back to a little bit average person. Look, I think I'm pretty much better. Thanks, huh? God. Oh, I love so this. You guys are so, you guys are precious. You remind me of me and my mom. I remember when I saw you the first time at the LA event, I was like, we gotta meet sometime. And I didn't think it was gonna happen. So it's really awesome to have this opportunity to see you out here, you know? Well, that's the whole reason behind Hello Honey. Honestly, we wanted a way to connect more with our, our fans out there, our, our fam. You know, it's hard for me to call you guys fans because I don't look at you guys as just people who like us. <laughs> we are inspired by you and stories like this. So we want to be able to connect with people like you and with you guys to learn more of how we can be stronger, more beautiful, and more confident together. Yeah, that's true, that's true. That's not easy, oh my God. It but isn't easy. Yeah. It isn't easy, but it can be fun if you just make it fun every single day with one little step in the way that you can learn to be better, to be more um, loving towards yourself. Yes, exactly, exactly. Thank you, I was so happy. Oh my God. Oh my God. So cute. Yeah, it's so cute. Mama. I love her hair color too. Yeah, my mom loves your hair color. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Like a brow, right? It's yeah, like a brownish yeah. red. Yeah, I'm supposed to have to touch up uh, in a few days. I'll try to save money, okay? Oh, <laughs> Bogaby. You can do it at home too. Say no more. 
Save money is the middle is our middle name. That's all we do over here. Save money, honey. <laughs> here's here's a little checklist to see if you're a true Asian. Do you guys save your Tupperware containers when you come back from like places that serve to go food? Uh, no, not that Asian. <laughs> what are you talking about? I save it. Send it to my mom. Send it to my mom. She'll save all your to-go containers. Okay, second second test. When you guys run out of shampoo or conditioner, do you put water in it and shake it and continue to use I it until? Yeah, she do that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, ding why. ding, you're Asian. I, I, I need to upside down the bottle to try to fix. Right, she oh, just put like the me. bottle upside down. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. That's what I did it too. Same thing. I love that. That's a, when you eat a banana and you don't finish it. Do you put the half of the banana in the fridge? Yes. Yeah, we do. We do that. Why are you throw it away? Yeah, I throw it away. I don't no, want a don't, brown bruised no, banana later. No, most of the time you don't throw it. I, I, I know you're going to throw it. I took it and I eat on, on the time. Mama Kwan, do you have extra room in your house? Do you want somebody to move in with you? Oh my goodness, she wish. What the hell are you talking about? If I come to your house one day, believe me, I will change everybody the different color like me. Yes. Uh. More beautiful. <laughs> You'll all walk out. She's like already beautiful already. You'll all walk out like you're ready to go celebrate the gay parade in West Hollywood. Okay. <laughs> Hillary, I want you to style up those outfits. However you do, send a picture and tag Hello Honey, okay? I want to see what you end up doing. I love you so much. Thank you. Yeah, it was a fun, fun opportunity to talk to you guys. Yeah, me yeah. too. Don't forget to follow my Instagram, okay? <laughs> Thank you. There's your mom too. Oh my gosh. Make you more happiness. <laughs> Hillary, Listen. run, I'm trying to save you. Si jealous. Hillary totally set the bar high, so I want to hear why you want to be on Wear It Be as well. So hit me up below. Tell me why we should come and do a closet consultation for you. I'm reading. I'm so happy to see both of them. I'm so glad you decided to invite yourself. Hillary, thank you so much for joining us. I loved being able to talk to you. Thank you for the shout out on Instagram. Comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know when every episode is coming on Thursdays. I love you. I love you. Whatever you need, Mama Mai over here for you, okay? Don't forget. I'm not paying you for this.